In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to use data augmentation on images in Keras. In previous videos, I explained some basic principles for working with Keras, and then we moved on to focusing on some of the basics of working with CNNs. It's recommended that you go ahead and watch those previous sets of Keras videos on my channel before moving forward here, because we'll be using some of the items that we learned in those videos and building on them. So data augmentation occurs when you create new data based on modifications of your existing data. In our case, our data is images. So for images, data augmentation would include things like flipping the image either horizontally or vertically, rotating the image, zooming in or out on the image, cropping the image, and varying the color on the image. So why would we want to do this anyways? Why would we need data augmentation? Well, for one, to obtain more data for training in general. Maybe you have a smaller training set, or maybe you just want to make your training set larger. You can do that by augmenting your existing data and then adding that augmented data to your training set as well. Another reason that you'd want to use data augmentation is to reduce overfitting. So in this video, we'll be showing how we can perform data augmentation on a given image image with Keras. So I'm in my Jupyter Notebook here, and the first thing that we're doing is just importing all of the libraries here that we'll be using to perform our data augmentation. Next, as used in previous videos, this function here called plots is just something that I got from GitHub that allows you to plot images within your Jupyter Notebook. So we're definitely not going to go into the details of this here because it has nothing to do with Keras or machine learning in general. So now let's scroll down to actually start implementing the code for augmenting our images. So the first thing that we'll do is define a variable called gen as an image data generator. Now image data generator belongs to Keras and we've used it in previous videos. And then all of the parameters that I'm passing in here to the image data generator are the different ways that I am telling Keras to augment my image. I've got rotation range, width shift range, height shift range, shear range, zoom range, channel shift range, and horizontal flip. There are more ways to augment your data other than just this, but these are what we'll be using in this example. And you can read the documentation from Keras on the image data generator to get an idea for what other parameters that you can pass in here, as well as understanding what these units are for each of these different parameters. So for example, the rotation range equals 10, this 10 here is in radians, and the width shift range equals 0.1, that fraction is representing a fraction of the entire width of the image. So I encourage you to check out the Keras documentation so that you can be fully familiar with how to set each of these items. All right, so we've got our image data generator defined. The next thing we're going to do is just create a variable called image path, and we're going to set that equal to a location on disk of an image of a dog. Next, we're going to actually obtain the image by creating a variable called image and then grabbing that image off disk using ndimage.mread and passing in our image path that we just created above. And then we're going to expand the dimensions using NumPy expand dims so that this image is compatible later when we use it in our next cell. Before going to that, we're just going to plot our image using plot.mshow and passing in our image. So let's check that out. All right, so we see that we have this dog here and this is the image that we are going to perform data augmentation with. All right, and then the next thing we're going to do is generate batches of augmented images from this original image. And we're going to do that by creating a variable called augiter and set it equal to gen.flow now recall gen is our image data generator that we defined above and then we're calling the flow function and passing in our image. Now flow takes the NumPy data and then generates batches of augmented data. Now we're going to get 10 samples of our augmented images. So we're going to create this variable called aug images and set it equal to an array that has 10 samples from this aug iter variable. And then finally we're going to plot those augmented images using our plots function and passing in that set of images that we just created above. Okay, so here we go. So here are 10 images that have been augmented according to the parameters that I passed into my image data generator a few cells above. So this is our original image here. Looking here, we see that some of these have been flipped horizontally. So for example, if you look, you can see this leg on the right hand side and some of the images we see that it's on the left hand side. So it's been flipped horizontally. We see that there's some slight color variation from the original image here. We see some are tilted slightly to the left or slightly to the right. And then some are shifted down, for example, like this one here and shifted slightly up in this image here. All right, so I hope that now you understand what data augmentation is, why you'd want to use it and how to make use of it in Keras. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. And thanks for watching.